Welcome back here to another Iron Man episode. Now today we're going to go over on how we can build a mega farm on our garden plot. We're going to go over each step here. We're also going to cover on what speed you need and what angle you need to be farming the crops to get the max efficiency out of your farm. So if you're excited for that, definitely stay tuned, subscribe, join the code, and let's get into it. So here is our building progress so far. Now, Zach has started a little bit with the structure, and this is actually the farm that you saw in the previous episode from the number one farmer here on the server right now with the garden, the garden update. That's right, you guys know from the last episode, we talked about this farm that was actually built and designed by, I think it was designed by melon king de he had this farm right with multiple layers of different crops so we're kind of copying this design here and uh you can see we sort of have the structure laid out now it does look a little bit wonky at the moment because we did connect a few blocks and that's because we're kind of trying to do a little shortcut by using the builder's wand so we're gonna go ahead and basically paste these lines in with the builder's wand so it's sort of all connected and then we'll go around with the shovel after like a golden shovel here and dig this out so that's sort of the plan of course we only have one builder's wand right now on the profile so i'm gonna go ahead warp to the hub buy myself one here because we do need it eventually for the uh, buy phone contact as well so might as well buy one here on the profile we'll see how it goes so far i was already a little bit confused earlier with zach i said that he did it wrong but i was just looking at it differently i was just looking at it wrong because this block right here that's kind of missing on this this correct layout is filled in here but we need to fill this in for the builder's wand so this will be gone and then it will of course be the same structure as this so that's what we'll be doing here let's go grab this wand and then start pasting Twelve thousand bits we got three hundred thirty-seven thousand. so we're chilling let's go ahead and purchase this and confirm perfect of course we're gonna go ahead and put in the infinite dirt wand in here as well there it is infinite dirt wand perfect let's warp to the garden quick Alrighty, so here we go let's do the top layer i'll start up here and we'll just sort of paste across All right, so there you have it. All the floors are pasted in. So let's go ahead and grab some cilantro as well. To add that, of course, as you saw there, everything has to be lit up nicely for the plants to grow. Let's go ahead and buy here from the builder. I think it's underneath rarity. Uh, there it is. Sea lanterns. We'll buy a whole bunch here because we're going to need a ton. So fill up our inventory. There you have it. And then, of course, we'll fill up this rod. It's, apparently, it's a builder ruler. And you can kind of mark out your blocks where you want to place them. So we're going to try this out quick here first before we go crazy with the uh, sea lanterns. But let's work back to the garden quick. Uh, my brother is currently cutting out all the dirt for basically where like the water would go and all that, which we did print in. So we're just basically fixing that up. And if I go all the way over to the end, you can see here the sea lanterns are already placed. And then the ones that I have to place are on this side, as you can see. There they are. You can only like click the ruler on the top of a block. I have to be facing this way. And if I click and... Okay, so that works. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's place these in. We'll basically cut to another time lapse and then we'll cut right back. Alright, and we're on to the soul sand. As you can see, I just placed the jungle wall. We see this is going to be for the cocoa beans, as you guys saw there. I actually had a bunch of wood in my stack, which I didn't even know, so I came in clutch there. I did a bit of forging as well, um, I think a few weeks ago, like a month ago, and it just all went into my sack. So that's why I had so much jungle wood. You can see here for the forging sack, there's still a bunch more left. So that came in clutch. We definitely used that for the garden, which is really good. Um, and we were back here. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that tedious, honestly, with these new tools. Like, I can't even imagine doing this by hand back then, like in the beginning of Skyblock. Imagine building this type of farm all by hand. Like, oh my gosh, that's a pain. So now what's really neat about this update, as I mentioned before, you can actually save a preset. And that's the reason why we're building this one chunk sort of area here, this one farm sort of preset, because we just have to build this once and then basically copy the blueprint and just whenever we unlock this farm or the more farms, you can just paste it in here and we'll just keep pasting, which is crazy. So... That's actually really handy here with the update is of course this blueprint feature of your farm so you can kind of really customize your farm and sort of use that schematica i guess you could say so that's definitely something very nice that they added there we go we did it wow All right, so here we have it. As you can see, all the water has been placed. Um, we had a little bit of a problem with this. It's actually currently in a VC right now. Talking to Death Streaks and briefing. And uh, so far, we got it figured out. We had an issue where the water wasn't flowing properly. We're just kind of doing it, um, I guess, too complex. We were using like Prisma pumps and stuff like that when we could just use a magical water bucket. So we got that working now. We're basically tilling the dirt, as you can see. 
it's being placed without the seeds because we have to basically just till everything, get everything ready for seeds. And then we're going to copy this whole thing as a blueprint. And once it's pasted across the five plots, we can start planting. And that will be another job and a half. Honestly, that's going to be like the biggest part of this whole build. Right now, it's actually been pretty easy. But planting and just even farming the seeds for this planting process is going to be insane. Zach's still, of course, tilling the dirt. And he's using the greater hoe of tilling. As you can see, all the rows are being filled in. There's going to be melon, I believe, and then pumpkin and wheat, I think, or carrot. Something like that. I think we got like carrot and then wheat and potatoes. So sort of in that order, I believe. But I think the first one's going to be melon. So that's looking pretty good. So we only need to till each edge just for like basically the melon to grow in and over. And it's sort of like a diagonal pattern, as we mentioned before. So we can basically just do this angle here, fly across and just chop all the melon and pumpkin just like that. So we're just getting three rows at a time instead of just getting two. All right, so we're pasting it in. We're going to see if it works. We're trying on the cane right now. And you can see it is clearing the first layer, which is the floor. It's kind of scary. I don't everything. Oh, is it overriding? No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was just clearing the whole farm for a second. Okay. So just removing the wall. Okay. So far it's promising. It looks like just clearing the plot. Oh, no way. It's pasting. Yo, let's go. That is so cool. Damn. Wow. We just saved so much time. I wonder if the water's going to come in too. Let's see. It's clearing the wall. The water should come next. And. No way it's doing the water. We got ourselves now two plots of this infinite farm. Again, it's only infinite once I think we have five rows. So five long, basically. This thing's going to be really, really long, but very narrow. And we can basically just run back and forth until we have enough crop. And it's going to be infinite. So we'll cut back once all of this is done. Might do a little time lapse here with the replay. And then just take a look at how long this thing really is. I also think that we can't get the max length yet because we still have one more plot to unlock at the very end. So we're still missing that one plot. We're slowly working towards that with compost. As you can see there, there's still trees in that plot over there behind me. That this plot is going to cost us 96 compost. So we're slowly working towards this. Of course, this one's being pasted in as you can see. So once we have this unlocked, we're going to have a max stretch here of infinite farms that we can plant. All right, so here we have it. As you can see, now everything's pasted in except for that last plot, as I mentioned. But look how long the stretch is. It just keeps going, going and going and going. Absolutely insane. Look at this. This thing's so long. It's going to take forever to farm back and forth. So there's definitely infinite here once we have that last plot. But like honestly, this is already enough for me, I, I would say. Like it's actually insane how much how much like how much of this crop we can put in here. Of course you can see how long this thing is, we're going to have to now plant this thing, as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and cut over to our first crop we're going to be planting. Now, of course, I believe we're doing melon first. We're going to go around here, of course, with our basket of seeds. But first, of course, we've got to fill our inventory with these seeds. So let's go ahead and do that now. <laughs> And we are cutting back on the new day here. And as you can see behind me, the whole farm is officially grown in and planted. Look at this. Actually insane. We got ourselves the melon, the pumpkin, the wheat, the potato, the carrot, the netherwort. We still got to plant that, guys. And the cactus. And of course, the cocoa beans. Look at that. So the farm's looking really good here. I've already farmed it a few times. Actually went up and down twice on this melon side here, as you can see. And we got ourselves already enough melon blocks to actually make ourselves a chest plate of the new armor set, the melon armor. So that's going to be exciting. Again, we're going to work piece by piece here and get that all finished up. It's going quite quick here with this setup. And again, we're four plots long right now. And we're trying to unlock the fifth plot. I heard from Zach here through the grapevine that we are actually only two compost as I'm recording this away from unlocking it so that's gonna be exciting so we're gonna have to do that here print it in build it in but as you can see this like farm is actually a success actually insane actually really really good build very good design again um melon king de thanks again for i guess having your island open to the public so we can all take a look here and see what you did but this is actually amazing all right so let's talk about exactly which speeds you should be setting your rancher boots to here for the farm now we're gonna be going crop by crop here it'll be also in the description but i'll put it on the screen as well here so for wheat wart carrot and potato it would be a speed of 93 for pumpkins melons and beans it'd be a speed of 155 and for cactus and mushroom 
It'd be a speed of 400 and Kane 327. Now, of course, Kane's going to be on a separate plot. That's like back to the way it used to always be. But those are the new speeds here. You guys have to set your wrench boots too. And now let's talk about exactly the angle you have to be looking at because you have to be at a special angle or a certain angle when especially farming the pumpkin and the melon. Now, the first step you want to do here to farming this is actually setting your break key to a keybind. So I'm going to set mine to actually F. So I always do F um, just the way I've been doing it. So controls, go down to the attack and destroy button and change it to F. There we go. And then when we go into the farm, now of course the farm is not finished. We're still going to make it like in a way where you just drop down automatically. But right now what you do is you basically look at the pumpkin or melon straight ahead like this. Open up your F3 and you want to go to a angle of position facing east. So it depends which way you're facing. But right now we're going to go negative 90. So I have to go to that right now like that. There we go, negative 90. And then we want to go and look down 31.1. There you have it. That's close enough. So negative 90 and 31. Of course, all farms will be like negative 90 or 90. And of course, you make sure you're just looking down to 31. So now what you do is you just click your keyboard. We want to go left. And of course, you want to farm. So you're going to break with the, um, the key F. So we're going to break with the key F and walk left. So there you go, as you can see. And this is how you farm it. It's going to break like that. Of course, I'm using the wrong axe right now, which is hilarious. But that is the technique. And you'll be doing this on, of course, the melon as well. So very cool. And also, the best part is you're breaking three rows at once. Like, that is actually amazing. Very efficient. And then let's talk about here the wheat. Now, the wheat is going to be the same idea. You're going to be kind of going on this water strip here. You're going to have to put depth striders onto your boots. Depth strider three. And you're going to look straight ahead and just run across like this and just break everything. Of course, you'll be at negative 90 again, so that you're basically perfectly straight and you're not drifting too much. For some reason, when I was farming, I was drifting a little with negative 90. So you might have to go 89.9. That's why I did actually work for me. Just play around with that. But usually it's supposed to be 90. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side for, of course, the carrots. And then you'll do the same thing for the potato. As you can see, like that. Da, 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 da. And then you'll do the same thing here with another word. Now, ours is 10 wide. It plays like a growth problem on Hypixel. So we made it 10 wide because it has to be infinite, right? So we did from either side. So again, that's what you do from either side. And you just farm that like that. So when you're farming the cocoa farm, you want to be looking up at around 45 degrees. So find the sweet spot. And of course, be going at a speed of 155. You can go a little faster if you want. You might miss a few. But basically running straight down, looking up like this, and you're going to break all the cocoa. So that's how you farm cocoa. Of course, it's just like before, you know, nothing really changed for that. And then the cactus, same idea. We'll be running sideways like this and just breaking it with a speed of 400. And of course, when you're running here, of course, you're going to be missing a few. I think you're missing two every time. So you're going to be only breaking two at once. So you're going to do this and then go back the same way you came and do that for each layer. And that's how you farm the cactus. So not too hard, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The only thing that really changed was, of course, the melon and the pumpkin because that has the special angle. And of course, that special step kind of staircase farming technique where you'll break three rows at once. If that was informative for you guys, if you guys like that, if you guys like this farm setup, definitely smash like today's video. Of course, comment down below what you guys are doing. If you guys are building this on your islands, comment down below what you guys think. And of course, smash the subscribe, guys. Subscribe to the channel here. We're trying to reach 30K on the channel and we're getting so close. We just hit 20 case thank you guys so much and to all the new visitors thank you for watching and of course you guys can see we are twins it might be hard to actually follow along sometimes depending on which screen we're on but we actually have our name tags at the top twin one and twin two depending on the screen and who is talking so if you keep an eye on that you guys know exactly what's going on